first. What's that right there? Oh, that's one of those pets from the previous thing. Welcome back, everybody, to TD Worlds. Okay, spoilers for the last episode. You have been warned. Feel free to fast forward ahead 30 seconds if you don't want to spoil it, but we got to the third boss. Upon the recommendations of the development team, we went the... Uh, let me go to my armory here. We did their whole uh, uh, chain damage and area damage, and dear God, it was awesome. And we got two of... I forget what these currencies are. But uh, now we can actually get two upgrades. So we could do like a chain damage. Oh, we can only get one. I don't want to activate it. Oops. Oh, continue. Oh, okay. Wait, how do I unselect this? Okay, so I can only pick one but I can improve it? I could do level two, interesting. That's interesting, so I can uh, spend two to upgrade one of these. Uh, I can spend one to unlock one for the run, one of these uh, bonuses, but then I can spend the second one to make it a level two. We'll come back to that in just a second. I actually want to go to the researches here and turn in my uh, shield damage. Uh, well, 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 this is fascinating. Uh, shield Enemies with shields will take 3% more damage. Great. Interesting. So what I'm thinking I want to do today is I want to uh, put forth some research into one of these. And I'm thinking... Burn damage. I think we're going to do a burn run today. And then this guy's got some interesting stuff for us. Look, I have something for you. My newest development. Predictor... Yes, I couldn't read that number for some reason. Uh, this device uh, help you plan your defense. Awesome. It'll basically tell us uh, what the path of enemies will be each wave. So that'll be kind of nice. And then to the shop, there's an upgrade for us. I could either get the Crystal Essence Auto Pickup, but I think I'm going to unlock Legendary Rewards, which leaves us with nine. Oh, she's got some stuff. Uh, pay attention to the scraps of matter. Okay, so basically that they'll uh, survive uh, us dying. So we picked a... Oh, we got to go to the armory here and pick... Uh... My radius of my tower will be reduced by 10%. That's fine. I'm not going to spend the second one for the second upgrade. I'm going to hold on to it. Oh, uh, he's... What does he want to say? Please note that you can use several drops of ancient power at once to improve your tower. As a result, your combat, combat power will become noticeably stronger. Perhaps it makes sense to save up a little. I think I'm just going to spend one this time around. I'm going to do the burning damage, so... Uh, I wish it would tell you here. I, I don't know if the developers are listening or not, but uh, I do wish that it would tell you here, you know how the damage works. I know it's some, I know as you increase it, it increases the percentage of damage, but I wish it would like give you the nitty gritty details. And I could be looking in the wrong part of the map. And then accessories, I can wear a Santa hat if I want, but I think I'm gonna take off the Santa hat for now. We unlocked that in the last episode. Uh, with that, let's go start us a run. So I kind of like that format where um, I'll beat it and then we'll come back the next time and spend all of our uh, currencies. I think that's the format we're going to go with. And I unlocked a whole bunch of achievements just there. I'm going to have to look back at what those are. At some point, we're going to have to go achievement hunting. Uh, World of Nothingness, Grey Pit, and we've seen this start before. My radius is decreased slightly, so I do kind of... Look at that, so there's the predictor. It'll kind of... So it'll show you know, the path that these guys will take, which will be kind of nice for like maximizing the early your early turret placement. Making sure that you know, that uh, you have as much of the radius of your turrets covering the route as possible. So look at that. The uh... oh no, I thought it spread the damage around. I don't think it uh, spreads the damage around to multiple uh, triangles. I wonder if this is burn enemies to death. This guy, since he was placed here prior, I don't think he doesn't take advantage of. Uh, the burn bonuses. Now we're getting some burn damage going off. Let's 
What's our reward? Oh, uh, scraps of uh, scraps of matter. So something that uh, from the demo predictor nine 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 seven. So this so it ticked the predictor ticked down during the demo, like it can only predict nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine waves. Now nine thousand nine hundred ninety seven. I don't understand that. Like, why is that a feature? Uh, can I see the prediction here? So, get pretty close there, pretty close there. I think I'll place one more there. Y you wouldn't think it'd be a big deal, but the decreased turret radius is actually a lot bigger of a problem than you might one might origin initially think. Because that's less time your turrets are attacking. Oof. They got kind of close there. I want to do... I do want to do the radius improvement. I want to get these guys back up to their initial radius as fast as possible. Yeah, so that's definitely a lot better. Uh, let's do here. And I guess here. So what is it? Stage one, I think we got to burn like 100 enemies and we're already at like 40. They're already off to an awesome start. I don't like that placement there. I'm going to place there. I hear a lot of burning happening. Come on, baby. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah, I think I'm going to want to definitely maximize, uh, definitely throw a lot more at uh, radius increases. Yeah, you see, if I were to place a turret there, it would kind of fall just outside. The pathing is falling just outside of its radius, so this would not be a good spot to place a turret. If I had more radius, it would be a good spot. So uh, in tower defense games, it's all about maximizing how much damage your turret can do. Feeling pretty okay on meta progress. Tower upgrades are... Oh god, this level. So they're gonna come from here first. What's that right there? Oh, that's one of those pets from the previous thing. That the, uh, that the shopkeeper wanted us to find. So that's what he was talking about. That's kind of neat. I wasn't expecting... I. So, if you remember the last time, if you got that far in the video, the, uh, the shopkeep wanted us to keep an eye out for his pets. That's one of the pets he wanted us to keep an eye out for, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty cool. I wasn't, uh... Ooh, a legendary cost improvement, minus 12. That's pretty significant. I've only got 88 of the crystal essence, so I'm going to skip the shop. I'm going to save up for at least 150 when I can do something more substantial. But now my turrets are costing me 88, though, which is really nice. And we'll throw one there. That bird damage is actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, place there. And now place here. It's here, place here. So one of the strategies that I kind of employ when I play games like this is it there a certain mindset I play is stemming the the stemming the flow of bleeding. If enemies are getting through, it doesn't make sense to start dealing damage here. It makes sense to try and increase your damage up here so that less of them are getting to this point. If you build up your defenses here, well they're still able to get to this point and you're missing out on a lot of damage down the uh, you're missing out on a lot of potential damage up here. It takes a little bit of discipline. Ooh more radius. 
Oh, another upgrade. It does take a little bit of discipline because you freak out and it's like, I need to build up my defenses back here. But, you know, take, breathe a second and uh, you'll find that stemming the flow of bleeding here is still bleeding all the way through here. Enemies that get here are still going to get here. If you can stop them before they get there, then you're not going to have a problem. At the same time, I'm trying to maximize my turret placement. You know, what's going to be more impactful? Uh, a tower that's on the corner or a turret that's kind of in the middle and only a corner of it ekes out and attacks? Corners are always a good spot because of how much they, how much space that they can cover. So I'm going to do another turret here once uh, shields start dropping. This is my big kill alley right here. Come on, stop them. A couple leak through, and that's worrisome, but we did just get a big upgrade here. So what can we do? Um, we can increase our burning significantly. Um, area damage, which we know is pretty good. I'm still a sucker for chain damage. But at the same time, the... Uh, Explosion is pretty good. I th think I'm going to take the chain damage. And then we'll just have to compensate for the lack of shield damage a little bit later. Because I think we're already making up our... Yeah, we've already made up our rate. Our lack of radius from the burn upgrade. I like that spot. So we'll just deal less shield, which isn't really a problem. Well, actually, dealing less shield damage is a problem, but... We'll get over it, I guess. I hate that there's not a turret here that I can build. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of potential damage here. Now you see there's nothing highlighted green. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm using the quick key. Uh, I'm hitting the shortcut T for uh, quick tower placement. I kind of gotten that... Ah, the T for tower, that... I've been playing this game for how long, and that just now made sense. That's hilarious to me. Uh, increased tower production more? No, I... Th Projectile speed would be kind of nice. Uh, I'm gonna grab some more scraps of uh, the antimatter there. Uh, make some meta progress. I think they're gonna come from here first, yeah, so I'll do here and here. Now they're coming from here, so I'll grab here and here. Oh, the chain damage spreads to the other... The chain damage spreads the uh, the fire to the other towers. That's kind of awesome. I didn't know that. That's super good. Well, I suppose that makes sense because we were spreading the... Uh, we were spreading the uh, explosion... Well, that's like an after... The explosion is kind of like an after-death effect, not really an on-hit effect. No, it's AoE. It is an on-hit effect. There is the explosion, though. So chain damage is capable of spreading the elemental abilities to... Okay. So chain damage is actually a lot better than I thought. Yeah. I'm, I'm, chain damage is way more powerful than I initially thought. I did grab projectile speed, cool. So I think I finally figured out projectile speed's use. Um, it definitely helps in catching up to those little guys that have a, a lot more speed to them. Ooh, I got 150 for the shop. Perfect, another damage modifier. Oh, um, I hope my goods will interest you. Yes, they do. So I can do more burning. Um, explode on death. Crit damage legendary. I could afford the crit damage. 
So I'm already taking, I'm already doing 14%. I've already got a 14%, a 12% cheaper tower. I'll still have cheaper towers and be able to afford the crit. Um, it does not matter how many times you will come here, I will still kill you. The result will always be the same. A killing you? The result is always going to be the same. I'm going to murder. Oh, they've got shields now. Uh, I might not live through this. Or I may barely live through this. Alright, I am taking some damage, but powers are 94. Oh, I'm actually kind of nervous, because... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! That's another big uh-oh. Oh, that's a bummer. I feel like the video... Mm. Drat. Uh, you're getting better each time. You've already learned a lot, you know, to handle yourself in the midst of darkness, by the way. If you meet... If you meet participants, send them more guards. Okay. Uh, let's turn in my researches here. So, burn enemies. What do I get for that? Fire damage uh, increased by 5%. Oh. Hi! Uh, did you know that enemies with shields are immune to any effects while the shields are active? Yes! This might break them as soon as possible. I'm thinking the smart decision from here on out will be to keep researching into the shields, because those are the enemies that are really killing me right now. And the shop, there's really nothing here that I can, uh, get. Bummer. Huh. Well, you know what? A little bit of a shorter episode after a really long episode never hurt anybody. So, uh, when we come back next time, uh, shoot, we'll keep trucking through. I might do, uh, I might try the, uh, explode on death that, that might be pretty cool so we'll try that next time uh thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next episode